The QBZ-191, China's answer to the M4 carbine. The QBZ-191 is the latest service rifle designed and manufactured by Norinco for the People's Liberation Army and People's Armed Police. Its designation, QBZ, stands for Light Weapon Rifle Automatic. The rifle has been designed in three variants. First, the QBZ-191, the standard rifle version with a 14.5-inch barrel. Secondly, the QBZ-192, the compact carbine offering featuring a 10.5-inch barrel. And finally, the QBU-191, the long-barrel designated marksman rifle. This overview will focus on the standard service rifle variant. The QBZ-191 rifle was designed by Norinco's 208 Research Institute, which also designed the QBZ-95 assault rifle. The QBZ-191 is a component of the new integrated soldier combat system, which aims to overhaul the PLA's infantry equipment. It was first revealed at the 70th Anniversary National Day Military Parade in 2019. <laughs> The QBZ-191 was designed to replace the QBZ-95 rifle family in Chinese military service and it features several improvements, including improved ergonomics and ambidextrous usability. It uses a conventional configuration, which is similar to the legacy QBZ-03 rifle and draws inspiration from the AR-15. Further, considerable design consideration was given to improving reliability in the many environments the PLA train and operate in. The QBZ-191 is a short-stroke gas piston-operated rifle that fires from a 30-round magazine. The rifle is chambered in the Chinese proprietary 5.8x42mm caliber with updated DBP-191 ammunition that is better ballistic performance at medium to long ranges compared to the previous ammunition common to the QBZ-95. The main body is divided into the upper and lower receivers, both are made of aluminum alloy and connected by two assembly pins, while the handguard, pistol grip, and telescoping stock are made of polymer material. It features a left side bolt release similar to the AR-15. A lever-style magazine release catch similar to the AK-47, and a right-side reciprocating charging handle. There is a permanent Picatinny rail on top, with additional mounting points at 3, 6 and 9 o'clock positions on the handguard for attaching additional accessories. The rifle is equipped with backup iron sights that can be folded down when not in use. While it is frequently observed without optics, the standard issued sight is the QMK-171 A Prismatic Combat Optic. This is a 3-power magnified optic sight, with a chevron reticle and bullet drop compensator similar to the ACOG. While this optic is used on both the rifle and carbine versions, the QBU-191 DMR variant is equipped with a 3-7 to variable magnification optical sight. The final weapon sight is the IR-5118 optic. This is a digital thermal sight with Wi-Fi capability, likely intended for integration with heads-up display aiming systems. The standard QBZ-191 has a full auto rate of fire of 750 rounds per minute. The full auto capability is retained on the QBU-191 designated marksman rifle, potentially allowing reconfiguration into a light support weapon. Due to the immense scale of the PLA, the rollout of the QBZ-191 has currently seen it issued to high readiness and special operations units. Accordingly, the previous QBZ-95 service rifle will likely remain common in lower priority units for years to come. Thanks for watching.